Hi students, so in this video, we are going to learn Form 4 Chapter 2 uh, whereby we solve quadratic inequalities and there are actually three methods that you need to learn to solve quadratic inequality. The first one is graph sketching and then you also have a number line method and the third one will be solving using table method. So we will do part by part. So first part using graph sketching. Now when graph sketching, you need to know that when your fx value is greater than 0, okay, you will choose the values above the graph. Meaning that, okay, this is fx, right? All the values over here are positive. Alright, so we will write our answer in two separate uh, equation. The inequality, inequality will be in two separate forms. If let's say our fx is less than 0, so we will choose down here because this part here, our fx, right, is less than 0. So it's this area. So when it's this area, we will write our inequality in this way. So this is the two main uh, positive, I mean, this is the two main uh, inequality that you need to know where if it's positive, it's up, if it's negative, it's down. Okay, so let's look at one example here. Okay, solve the quadratic inequality x squared greater than 5x minus 6 by using graph sketching method. So the first step is to bring all the values over the right side to go to the left side. Okay, so we do that first. So we, be, we bring 5x, it becomes negative 5x. We bring 6, negative 6 becomes positive 6. So it's like this. Now we factorize. Okay, of course, you can factorize a uh, normal way that you use, cross way, or you can also use your calculator. So when we factorize, we key in the values 1, negative 5, and 6. So we get 3 and 2. So that means x minus 3 and x minus 2. Okay, so that means we have two values here. So I'm going to write it like this, x minus 3 equals to 0, x is equals to 3. Or the other one is x minus 2 equals to 0, x is equals to 2. So now I'm going to draw the graph. So I'm going to draw my graph where these two values is where the graph is going to intersect. So here x, here is fx. Okay. So here's 0, now here will be 2. Here will be 3. So my graph is going to be like this. Okay, now how do I know which uh, area will my inequality be? Because we are going to find the range here. So our graph, our uh, inequality, quadratic inequality states that this function, okay, this inequality is greater than 0. So if greater than 0, okay, looking back at here, if it's greater than 0, that means it must be at the left side, the upper part, and the right side, the upper part of fx, okay? Now, so that means it's going to be here, and it's going to be here. So here's going to be positive, here's going to be positive. So this one here will be a negative. Now, how do we write our inequality? So... We just write here x all these values are greater than 3 how about the x here are all the values greater than 2 or less than 2 because here we have 1 0 negative 1 so all these are less than 2 so now we have got our inequality which is x is less than 2 or x is greater than 3 so this will be our inequality so you need to know which one you are going to choose the positive one or the less than zero negative one okay